praise Master Jesus. I'm Apostle Emmanuel Ojeme of Liberation Evangelical Network. You are welcome again to another time of exhortation. And God has prepared another word today, and I'm sure you will be blessed. Let's worship Him. Father, we bless your holy name and we worship you. We exalt you and we glorify you. We confess Jesus as the Son of God who came to die for us and rose again on the third day and is seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. Thank you, Father. Lord, speak to us again by this word today and let your people be touched by the word. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. I can just feel the power of the Holy Ghost already. You know, you can feel the presence of God. And that shows that this word is for somebody. And I know that person is you. In the name of Jesus. Now, you might have heard about this. But uh, I just want to re-emphasize it. Um, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing again by the word of God. So it's, it's good to keep hearing it, keep hearing it. It keeps depositing in you and your faith keeps building. Hallelujah. Amen. I just feel like worshiping the Lord. I just feel in my spirit to worship. You know, say the time has come that we worship him in spirit and in truth. Father, we worship you. I worship you, O Lord. Yeah, yeah. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, O Lord. Yeah, yeah. I worship you. I have come to worship you. I worship you, O oh Lord, yeah, I worship you. Father Lord, we worship you. Ah, we exalt you, we exalt you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, excellent King. You alone do marvelous things. You do awesome things. You are awesome in all your ways. Father, we exalt you. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. We bless your name. We worship you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Right, the title of this message is Time is Short. Time is Short. Um, I've um, seen so many things pass through quickly. You know, the Bible makes us to understand that a thousand years is like a day, a second in God's eyes. You know, we we seem to think that, oh, there's a lot of time for us to make certain decisions, but time just goes quickly. I remember when I was a child, when I was young, you know, and now the, the, the way the time has just flown by, you know, it's amazing. There are so many of our friends, so many of our relatives, so many people that we've shared time moments with, we've, you know, shared time with, and, you know, they appear to be young and, you know, lively, but they are gone today. Time just flew by, just flew by so quickly. Time is short. And in the short time we have, we have a decision to make. There are so, some footballers that, you know, in their time, you would think that their career will never end. They were so good in their time. People celebrate them. But just in a very short moment, another greater footballer comes and their own, you know, stardom ends. And before you know what's happening, they are out of the picture. How short time is. Dear beloved, in the very brief moment of life, we have a decision to make. God has given us a choice. 
and the choice is left for us to make. Whether to seek his kingdom first, build our treasures in heaven, or to continue to follow after the pattern of the world. He has given us a time to decide where we want to spend eternity. Whether in heaven with him or in hell with the devil. It's left for us to make that choice. But I've come this day to let you know that you have no choice but to make the choice to follow Jesus. Because he is the way to eternity. The way to the Father is Jesus. John chapter 14 and verse 6. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except by me. Except a man confesses Jesus, believes him, receives him in the heart, confesses him as the Son of God, he cannot be saved. But whoever confesses Jesus and believes in him shall be saved. We have a choice to make. And the thing is, you have to make that choice today. Because the Bible makes us to understand in Malachi chapter 3 and verse 1 that the Lord Jesus will come suddenly. That is, a man can die or can even be alive and Christ will come. In either way, there's a choice to make, but no one knows tomorrow. Time and season belongs to God, not you. No one knows the next minute what will happen. So you have the choice, to the decision to take now. Time is short. This is the time to make that decision for Jesus. In Malachi chapter 3 and verse 1, it said, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. He shall suddenly come. In 2017, when I got that vision of the coming of Christ suddenly, he said that it will happen suddenly and there will be many regrets. And really in the vision, people were not expecting him. He came very suddenly. He said, the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. He shall come. In Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10, this same revelation is revealed. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. As a thief in the night. Thieves don't give you warning when they are coming. They come unannounced so that they can take you on our ways. It will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also, and the works that are daring shall be burned up. The day of the Lord is not a day to toy with. The coming again of Jesus is not a day we should take lightly. The decision to make is now, because time is short. First Corinthians chapter 15. And from verse 51. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and from verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. What will happen for us to be changed? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, 
the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed in a moment there shall be the sound of the trumpet praise god jesus will come suddenly without warning and the thing is the signs are out there to show you that the end has come matthew chapter 24 every revelation in scripture is a pointer to what will happen the nations are fighting nations there are natural disasters everywhere California fire is burning everywhere, people dying, there's flood disaster, there's wind disaster, and above all that, iniquity is increasing. People are denying Christ even more. People are refusing to heed, to hear the word and be saved. People are becoming, nations are becoming more secular rather than spiritual. There is no sobriety anymore in the church. People think church is a social place. People have decided to put themselves first. The spirit of seduction is everywhere. We can see the manifestation everywhere. The moment and the time to make a decision for Jesus is now. He said in Malachi chapter 3 verse 2, But who may abide the day of his coming? Who? And who will stand when he appeared? For it's like a refiner's fire and a fuller soup. He shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering of righteousness. Who may abide on the day of his coming? If you go to Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 For behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. The day of Christ is a day of fire. It's not. It's a day of terror. It's not a day that anyone to toy with who will abide on that day dear beloved this is the time to make a decision for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up said the lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch the day of the lord the wicked cannot survive it the wicked cannot survive it and this day is going to happen suddenly without warning a day of fire a day that god will take vengeance on his enemies you don't want to be on the other side on that day you want to be on the side of the lord that is where your salvation is. That is where your hope is. That is where your liberty is. He said that day we shall be changed. We shall be with him in the skies. This is the time to make a decision. In Zephaniah chapter 1 and 2 and 3. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, said the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. I will cut off man from off the land, said the Lord. There is no mercy on that day. Now is the time that Jesus, God, will show mercy through his son Jesus Christ. If you can come now, there is mercy. If you can seek him now, you will find him. But there comes a time when there shall be no more mercy. When God will suddenly come with wrath. I've heard a group of people 
say God cannot be so wicked to do consume his people. I'm telling you, God is a God of mercy and love, but is also a God of wrath. He said, who shall abide on the day of his coming? He said, knowing the terror of the Lord will persuade men. That's what Apostle Paul said. Persuade men to turn to him in righteousness and holiness. He said, I will purge the sons of Levi, that they bring an offering of righteousness. Now is the time. Time is short. The Lord is coming suddenly without warning. This is the moment for us to give our life to Jesus. For us to surrender to Him. The people of the Lord must be prepared for the coming of Christ. The people of the Lord must be prepared for the sudden coming of Jesus. We also see in Joel, the book of Joel, chapter 2, the amazing things that will happen on the day of the Lord. If we read, he said, Blow ye the Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is near at hand. Sounding an alarm is to warn the people. I have come this day to sound an alarm again to the world to let them know that the day of the Lord is at hand. He is coming without warning. There may be no more time for you to make up your mind. Now is the time to make up your mind. What will it take you to surrender to Jesus? Even for us that are in Christ, to remain in Him as a soldier. He said, for a, a, a man that is in Christ is like a soldier. He entangled not himself with the things of this world, so that he can please Him who has called him to be a soldier. Remaining in Christ also is a warfare. It's a warfare. And breakthrough is coming to the point of winning the warfare and remaining consistent in Christ. Despite all the harassment of the devil. He said, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm. In my holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh. It is near at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people, and a strong, they had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. It shall be a day that has never been witnessed before. He said, For fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. There is going to be an invasion on that day. The armies of the Lord will invade the earth. They will come with fire, devouring. They say, before them it shall be as the garden of the Lord, but wherever they pass, their solution, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as, as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on top of mountains, shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. It's not a day where, you know, it's not a day of exploits of men. But it's a day of exploits of the armies of the Lord. That the Lord will come down with. That we take over the earth. You will be at the mercy of God. But being at the mercy of God, you are assured if you are saved in righteousness. 
Praise the Lord. The day of the Lord is coming here. God has sent me again to warn the people. This message is the part one of the time is short. Next time, we will follow up on what you need to be doing now. It's not just receiving Christ, but there's something you need to be doing now. Next week, Friday, we will follow up on that message. Father, we thank you. Before we close, I want us to pray. And I want us to ask God for mercy this afternoon. You see, the Bible says it is not he that runneth or will it. It is God that chooses to show mercy. It is through his mercy that we are saved. By his grace we are saved. Not of our works. We are going to ask God for mercy. You know when Daniel prayed in Daniel chapter 9 and verse 5. He said we have sinned and committed iniquity. And have done wickedly and have rebelled. Even by departing from the precepts and from thy judgments. He did not say they have sinned. He said we. He included himself. You know the Bible says that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. He said he looked down and there was no one righteous. No, no one. Don't think you are too holy for God. This afternoon ask God for mercy. Begin to pray and ask him. Father have mercy upon our soul. We have sinned against you. We have gone against your judgment. We have gone against your precepts. But we are bowing before you in humility. This afternoon, asking you for mercy. Blot away our sins. O God of all forgivenesses. O God of all mercies. Wash away our iniquity. In the name of Jesus, we have done wickedly. We have not kept your commandments, but we are asking you for mercy. This afternoon, Father, we have returned to you, for we know that the day of the Lord is at hand. We know, Father, that you are coming unexpectedly without warning. We don't want to be taken on our way. We want to spend eternity with you. We ask you for mercy to wash away our sins. Make us white again like snow. Clean source of every iniquity. Clean source of every filthiness. In the name of Jesus, keep asking God for mercy. Keep praying for mercy. God will not turn his eyes away from them that come before him with a broken spirit. Ask him for mercy this day. Bow before his throne. In the name of Jesus, Lashikitekete, Mazuzo Barikete, Barusha Kataye, Baranzo So Kadi Kade, Parusha Katakata, Li Prado Shakataya. Satan has nothing in us. The devil has nothing in us. We drop up all his seeds. We drop up all his works. Father, this day we separate ourselves to follow after you, to follow after Jesus. We confess him today. We believe him, O oh Lord. He came to save the world from his sins. Oh, Baradesh Shakata, Likoto Sokoto, Migados Agadi, Marus Sakatatada, Lebrado Shakataya, Mazuzulia, turn not your back on me. Receive us today, Father, as we come before you. Receive us, O oh God, as the good shepherd, as the good shepherd. We come as your sheep. Receive us into your fold. Rakatatata, Lebrado Sakata, Labu Shiketete, Landos Agudos Paru Shekete. You did not come to condemn the world, but you came, O oh Father, that through you, your Son Jesus, that the world might be saved. We ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. Purge us today. Masha Kataya, Libro Dosose, Igadabayata. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' precious name. There's somebody that you have to make a decision today. The Bible says, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Being born again is being born in the Spirit, baptized by the fire in Christ, baptized.
praise into Jesus. Starting a new walk with him. If you are that person, just repeat after me. Lord, forgive me my sins. I am sorry. I have come to surrender to you. Receive me as your soul. I confess Jesus as the true Son of God. Forgive me, Lord. Have mercy upon my soul. I sinned against you in the past, but I have come today to start a new work with you. Receive me by your mercy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, congratulations. You have just moved from darkness into light. God is happy to receive you and the angels in heaven are celebrating you. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Ojeme of Liberation Evangelical Network. Why don't you send me an email? Info at liberationprayernetwork.co.uk Subscribe to this channel. And for you that is watching this, that has connected with us, why don't you share this video? Why don't you subscribe to this channel and share this video, playing your own part in the race of life? God bless you. Until we see you next week. Amen.